Well, this bit seems to be taking longer than the Brexit negotiations. Um, I've got it so I'm happy with the seating, and in doing so, I've now shifted it out of alignment. <laughs> but you're talking, it's four tenths out from where I was aiming, so just under half a thou. Um, because of the, the the number of variables kind of thing, um, what I'm going to do is leave it as it is. Uh, and concentrate on getting the last bit of the alignment via the spindle bearings. Um, I can't see that. I mean, if that's the spindle bearing and the actual amount of movement I've got to do is four tenths at this end. So it's been four tenths on this rear end in terms of... Um, at the moment the spindle's pointing up four tenths too high so by the time i've taken out the wear from the bell mouthing on the front bearing it'll drop and then i'll take the back one down to bring the alignment in four tenths over that distance ain't going to make a blind bit of difference on the gear meshing um it might be half a thou on this back one but uh, i can't see it being a big problem fundamentally because the thing's got to drop anyway to take the wear out um so we'll have to deal with that as and when uh, what might happen is i need i can't remember how this this one there's another gear meshes up to this and i can't remember whether it's on a fixed center or it's uh movable but either way that'll need looking at to make sure that it's not bottoming out but yeah it's uh i've had it closer um but not a very good seat and as, as i've brought the seat in it's just shifted it and it, I'm, I am really struggling to get that any better um, and get a good uh, seating so uh, yeah a bit frustrating but it's a case of uh, it's as, it's good enough I think to do it, get on with the next bit so that's the uh, selector fitted and uh, it locates against that plunger remember the one we couldn't do, I couldn't decide what it was for but it's got a definite position on that and uh, there's a little tiny uh, pin there which dr uh, screws through into the shaft uh, so I'm, I'm not sure whether the assembly is I mean when I took it apart obviously the headstock was off the, the bed we certainly didn't take that off until I got the, be the bed in here so I am working on the basis of when I flip the head over those will slide into the uh, receiver uh, if not there is a hole there and there's a bit of a hole here so I'll have to basically stand it back up take it off and fit it from underneath um, but we'll try it this way first uh, next job is to put the uh, gear arrangement on there
Oh, so I've cleaned out and deburred the uh, bronzes, uh, cleaned up that and the, the ball. So the first job was to put the um, that bevel gear that sits against that. So cleaning that, clean that out. Give it a light lube. Need to have another look at the oil ways in it. A little bit. To, well, you can see the contamination in that. Might as well start with it clean. That's the uh, the shaft. You can see the scoring where it's picked up on something. I'm just using ISO 68 um, machine oil just for assembling it all. Who knows how many months it'll be before it actually gets fired up in anger. Right. Oh, so <laughs> the dogs are kicking off. You know, a screwdriver in the slot, and then just nip the nut up, and uh, that then is free to spin on its bearing. So I'll nip it up, and bring it back when I've flipped it down again. So that's the uh, next assembly that's got to go in. So I'll try and get it all in the screen. Alrighty. Now, there's every chance I could put it all together and find out I've done it wrong. Like that. <laughs> so that's got to come out, that in first and then that down. Arse. Bring you back. Right, we'll start this again because I've just spilled the bleeding lot on the deck. Which is annoying and I have to spend uh, 20 minutes searching for that little tiny key. Right, so start again and uh, start building it up. And this is held on with three little tiny uh, machine screws. Um, and somebody's somebody's had it in the wrong way. See how the holes are elongated. It only goes in one orientation. Uh, whether I can remember which way around it is is another question. Oh, bollocks. Slight technical itch. I remember right, I had to be engaged and then...
fairly sure that's how it all goes together. through and uh, picks up that on the end of which uh, can you see yeah yeah you got a, a little dog uh, or receiver for a dog which are on these things and this thing's well hard there's a um, little whether well, you can see the play on the, the, the wear on that under that Oh, there it goes. Anybody taking bets on whether it's right or wrong? I wouldn't. Need the gear on the end of that. And I can remember that being a pain in the ass. The little tiny key, which is what we were searching for. And it was proper snug. Proper snug on this shaft. Yeah. And then there's a tiny little group screw, which of course my screwdriver's too big for. Thing which you've got a locating pin on. Well, I had a route around in the holes that the cap heads secure the uh, casting on, and I found one more pretty much destroyed copper washer. So uh, I was going to make some more, um, dug out some copper squares that I've got, which are about the right thickness and was musing on how the hell to hold them all together, put a hole through and then turn them to, to size and um, remembered I got a piece of copper rod so I've used that. I can't even remember where that came from. So we've made up uh, four, they're only small, they're probably a little bit thicker than the originals but they're a snug fit around the shaft and around the uh, down the hole so uh, they're going to compress and fill any gaps I think yeah jobs are good I think the hardest bit of it was uh, getting the shoes from the the yoke that switches that sliding collar backwards and forwards getting them to locate <coughs> I tried doing it and lowering the headstock onto it but just couldn't get the alignment so I took it all out put the headstock in place and then rebuilt it from the inside one-handed through that hole which is I can get my hand in just um, it's a pain and the sight lines are uh, <laughs> not great can't get my fingers in around there anyway we got it on and uh, that's the activator end of it there and that uh, just shifts the yoke backwards and forwards so that you've got the drive down to there and then the output drive is reversed or sent forward. Uh, the last job to do is check out where that hole lines up. Um, I've 
probably try it with a ream to start off with, just see if a ream will drop down into the uh, uh, pin hole, whatever you call it, alignment pin, dowel pin. If it doesn't, then I've got to open it up to the next size up. So yeah, uh, that took about five times longer than I thought it would do. But uh, moving on.